Today our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature. What is evil? The mere concept of evil is not widely discussed and almost always forgotten. Incidents like these of 9-11 and the Holocaust ticks an alarm in our mind. Yet, what's always noticed is the actor of evil, not what this evil itself is. Is it just another form of saying very bad? Or is evil an entity that exists by itself? If you're claiming it's meaningless to search for this concept, saying it's associated with supernatural powers and demonic myths without any solid rational explanatory ground, then you're on evil skeptic side. With an evil revivalist hat on, I can safely say that denying existence of evil makes you defenseless against it. Only by understanding its nature and origin can you prevent the future evil from happening. Some wrong actions are extremely worse than others. We should prioritize the reduction of those extreme wrong actions over that of the others. As a result, a concept of evil must exist, entailing the worst wrongs over the others. According to Hillel Stenner, evil acts are distinguished from ordinary wrongs through the presence of an extra quality, completely absent in the ordinary ones. This extra quality is for the perpetrator's pleasure in doing the wrong. Some other theorists argue that it doesn't matter whether you are willing to do evil or not. If your action fulfills given requirements of evil, then it is evil. But what are these requirements? They might include wrongdoing or evil action must be at least wrong, infliction of lasting suffering, not only physically, but also psychologically and emotionally, inducing fear or terror, unjustified hatred, pleasure from suffering, as in sadism and sadomasochism. Countless other theories define evil from multiple perspectives, but there is one common ground among everyone. It is extremely awful to do evil, yet it is globally prevailing. So, why? Why you do this? Why? Evil is a parasite that feeds off your weaknesses and uses you as its human agent to spread its venom in the world. These weaknesses come in many forms. Illnesses, as in psychopaths, sociopaths and psychotics. Lack of empathy. Maybe also lack of independent thought and personality. This list goes on. As of all these, the existence of evil can hardly be disputed by now. It's all over us, and we manifest it and suffer from it in our everyday life. Yet, this leaves us with one more thought-provoking dilemma, the problem of evil. If God is defined as the omniscient, the omnipotent, and the omnibenevolent, then how can he let this happen? How can he let evil exist? If all knowing, then he knows evil exists. If all good, then he definitely doesn't want evil. If all powerful, then he has the power to eliminate it. So why is evil still there? Does that mean that God is not all perfect? Or that God itself is non-existent in the first place? Thanks for watching.